Hi again, this is Dr. Teresa Nicasio from TeresaNicasio.com with yet another wellness tip. And you know, for today's wellness tip, I'd like to talk a little bit about procrastination. Because procrastination, what people, a lot of people don't realize is it is actually one of the biggest causes of low self-esteem unnecessarily that we have. And it's it's one of the ways that we uh, feel like we can beat ourselves up, that we can judge ourselves, we can judge each other, and it's not the friendliest uh, thing we can do. Um, and the, the thing about this is that uh, the the kind of the abusive negative uh, attitude about it is totally not founded. So I'd like to talk a little bit about what procrastination really is about because most people just don't get that. And and you may not get it and, and hopefully this will free you a little bit about uh, when you find yourself not doing what you think you ought to be doing and, um, and thinking that you're procrastinating. So I'd like to say that there's I think that there's three primary reasons why we do what we think of as procrastinate. And the reason for it, number one, is is not because we are lazy, which is the most popular reason why people think that they procrastinate, but actually is because we're not motivated enough. The carrot, that carrot that can lead us, that can make us feel motivated to uh, do that which we think we're needing to do, is not strong enough or is perhaps not coming from a true place in our heart. If it's not something that we truly want to do, then we're, not, we're going to find ways to sabotage it. And so we need to either first clarify whether it's what we really want to do and relanguage it and revision about what it is, or that we perhaps want to, may want to reconsider whether that's what we really want to do or not and do something else. A second reason why we oftentimes can find ourselves procrastinating is because we are either afraid that we're going to fail and what that would mean. And so if we can sabotage and just, uh, if we never really fully get to it, then we can't fail, we can't be a failure. Or we might actually also be afraid of succeeding because if we follow through and succeed with something, there, there oftentimes are consequences to that as well. Uh, whether it's expectations of ourselves or others, or how people perceive us. If we perceive ourselves and believe ourselves to not be worthy of love or uh, uh, um, positive affection, then if we succeed and we start to get positive affection, that can be quite threatening. And the third is really mundane, uh, but sometimes we procrastinate just because the task before us feels so daunting. It feels so overwhelming. It's like we're going to try to carry the big sequoia tree out of a forest for some, you know, it's like we, we need to carry this. There's a tree that died. We want to carry it, but all in one big big tree, it's overwhelming. But if we can break it down into a technique that's called the bundle of sticks technique, if we can break down that which we need to do or want to do into smaller increments and then you know, have the patience and the perseverance to carry it bundle by bundle out, then we can actually succeed in, full, in, in um, uh, doing the task. But oftentimes that the skill of learning how to break down a task, a big task, into small doable pieces is not a well-learned one. And it's simply a skill that you can, you can actually learn. Anyway, you can either ask someone to help you. Uh, the, you know, that's a time where maybe a therapist can be of help or a good friend or a mentorship, or you may be part of a mastermind group or some, some other support group that can help you with that process. So I just wanted to share with you those three, those three pieces about what procrastination really is about and what you can do about it. Um, because I, I just, it breaks my heart when people come in, uh, in you know, here to my office and they're, they're, they're beating themselves up, feeling like there's something about them, that they're lazy or their character, there's something defective, um, or that they're maybe a bad person or you know, something negative, when it just isn't the case at all. So I hope this is helpful for you. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to uh, watch more of these wellness tips, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And you can also visit my website, which is TeresaNicasio.com. And I look forward to uh, con continuing to connect with you. And uh, until next time, have a great day. Okay, Bye-bye.